It's the trillion dollar plan that took the world's media by storm. Announced right here on Squawk Box. If you've been in an oil well for the last month, here it is. The U.S. gets 70% of our oil from overseas. Boone calls it the greatest transfer of wealth ever. So Boone wants to use wind farms in a windy stretch of America from Texas to North Dakota. He and his partners are investing $12 billion in their own wind farm in the Lone Star State. That wind would replace the natural gas used by power plants for electricity, currently equaling 22% of our natural gas usage. The nat gas that's saved would go to refuel millions of cars and trucks that now run on gasoline. Those vehicles would be rejiggered to use that fuel. As for feeling the effects of the grand plan, Pickens hopes it will be filling our engines in the next five to ten years. This morning, Boone Pickens is here live on Squawk. Once again, here's Becky Quick. All right, again, we are joined by billionaire hedge fund manager Boone Pickens. He unveiled, as we mentioned, the Pickens plan right here on Squawk one month ago today. Of course, over that time, we've seen crude oil prices fall pretty dramatically, down about 15 percent. Boone's been doing some shopping of his plan across America, and now he's back to update us on the progress on that plan. Boone, thank you for joining us today. Good morning. Uh, month one, th- one month ago, one month ago today, it uh, lots happened in the last month. You have been on a tear across the country. Uh, every time I, uh, I look up, you're somewhere else talking about this plan. W- what's been the reaction you've been getting? Great, uh, uh, Becky. You cannot believe the two town hall meetings. <clears throat> one was in Topeka, Kansas. The other was Lamar, Colorado. People were in their seats an hour before I got there. The place was packed, and they had to turn away. How many people is at Topeka? It was about 500 in the room. 300 stood outside on the speakers, and uh, it was it was you know it was a great turnout for me. Lamar, we got about 650 people in the inside and 150 people outside. So it was uh, same same response, same questions, same concerns about American energy. So it's it's all good. We've got uh, now almost four million hits on the website pickensplan.com, and out of that we've signed up about two hundred thousand. We call them the army, and the army is gonna we're gonna work. Uh, we we hope we'll get up to a million people in the army that are gonna march with me, and uh, we're gonna put some pressure on uh, on Washington. Boone, the plan doesn't come without its detractors. Some people say, hey, you're just in this because you have a personal interest. In, interest. You're building your own wind farm uh, right now. You also have uh, a lot of holdings in natural gas. You've got Clean Energy, which is a, a natural gas company trying to use natural gas for vehicles. And this week, the Wall Street Journal actually uh, took some aim, too, in its editorial pages. Holman Jenkins came out and said that this is not a plan. W- what do you say to that? Well, it's kind of interesting Jenkins said that. I've called him, and I've had a call in to him for two days, and he hadn't returned the call. He said it's not a plan. It is a plan. And I spoke with the Wall Street Journal editorial board for an over an hour. He was not in the meeting. So I don't know who's advising Jenkins, but I'd like to talk to him because this is a very, very serious plan for America. doesn't have anything to do with me making money. I have enough money, and I've given $700 million away in the last five years, and my estate will go to charity. So it doesn't have, that's, that's not what I'm in this for. I'm in it for America is what it's for. And we've got to do something about the outflow of $700 billion. Now, he said that's just normal trade, and that should continue. Well, he likes foreign oil if that's, that's his position. But $700 billion, I think I can cut half of it down, uh, $350 billion in less than 10 years if we use the natural gas. The natural gas is cheaper, it's cleaner, it's domestic, and it's abundant in this country. Why would you buy foreign oil if you could use a domestic resource? Second, that, uh, you know, if you're using a domestic resource, $350 billion, that creates a lot of jobs. Profits are made, taxes are paid, and the economy goes forward. Uh, it, uh, I don't understand it, but he doesn't call me back, so I... Maybe he will. Maybe we'll come together on it. Boone, I don't see how anyone could, could argue with, with the wind power component of it. If, if we've got that whole quarter, and that's renewable, free, clean energy, I, I don't I have, see how anyone could argue with that. A lot of the detractors are talking about whether natural gas really can replace 
uh, gasoline and vehicles, whether the infrastructure built out, it, it, whether that's pie in the sky thinking, whether the, the cars are reliable, whether we can retrofit everything. I mean, I mean that's where the sticking point. I, did, I mean, would you, would you be happy if half your plan went into effect just the, to, to line the whole uh, quarter with, with wind? Well, Joe, the, the wind we have to use. <clears throat> that's renewable and it's, uh, it's green. It's a resource we have. And we have to develop that resource. Okay, second, on the car reliability, you know, the largest bus fleet in the world, uh, Beijing Transit, is on natural gas. The second largest is LAMTA. It's on natural gas. So those vehicles have to be reliable. I'm not saying that your car and my car. However, I did buy a Honda GX Civic and paid 27000 for it and got... Uh, a uh, fill uh, the fuel maker that's in your garage, and I can fill my car in the garage. It's a dollar and fifty cents a gallon. Uh, it has kind of an interesting part to it. Uh, Twenty seven thousand five for the fill, so I got thirty two thousand uh, dollars now in the third spot in my garage, and I sell my Mercedes for seventy. Uh, I've got thirty eight in my pocket, so it works. There's no question. Now there are eight million vehicles in the world today. 8 million, and only 142,000 of them in the United States. Hey, Don't worry about the infrastructure. Where this has to start is, is with government, new purchases of government vehicles, and in the uh, truck fleets is where it is. All those stations can be built very easily. But it's interesting that who's doing this. The Iranians have now announced that they're using natural gas for their uh, transportation fuel, and they're going to import, they're going to export their oil. So there's one place. Gazprom, the largest company, oil company in the world, the Russian company, is putting. They announced they're installing natural gas fueling stations all over Europe. So does it work? Yeah, it works. There's no question it works. Hey, hey Boone, if, if you uh, look at the next step, uh, approaching Congress, what kind of feedback have you gotten so far, and what exactly are you going to be asking Congress to do? Well, it's, uh, Congress has to accept the idea that we're going to reduce the dependency, and I think we're coming up on that. I've wanted to have a meeting with both candidates, and I've, I've asked for that, and I think that'll be happening rather, rather soon. Okay, second, I've talked to Speaker Pelosi uh, at length in a 45-minute 45 uh, 45 uh, conversation, the two of us. Then she introduced me to the Democrat caucus, 254 people who I felt were very serious and there were 15 people lined up at the microphone to ask questions so uh, they have grave concerns about energy in America I have met with uh, uh, with uh, uh, Majority Leader uh, uh, Reed uh, Harry Reed and, <clears throat> and Senator Reed and I had a 30 minute conversation I've met with the Republican leadership uh, everybody that I see uh, you know, that uh, other than Mr. Jenkins seemed to understand that it was a plan. And uh, they all listened in, uh, very attentively, and they, uh, they asked a lot of questions about it and all. No, I think we're moving. Now, you asked me right. what I'm going to ask for. Mm -hmm. We will have that before we get um, much further, but uh, I wanted to go in the hundred, first 100 days of the next administration because we have to act on this very quickly. But if, if it takes us a little longer to get the corridors to transmit the, uh, uh, the power out of the wind corridor to the east and west coast, that may take us a little time. We don't have to wait to, to uh, go with natural gas as a transportation fuel. We have plenty of natural gas. Okay, Boone, if you could stick around with us, we're going to slip in a quick break, but we have a lot more we'd like to talk about with you, including what's been happening with oil prices and natural gas prices. You stick around for just a minute? Sure. Okay. More from Boom Pickets in just a minute.